We live in a post-Avengers Endgame world, where Marvel movies have our heroes fighting across different planets to defeat a purple space giant, and even DC movies are huge epics with a lot going on. However, there was a simpler time when superhero movies were a lot more conservative with their plots. In fact, before the MCU, most superhero movies had a very predictable formula. They arguably still do, however, the formula I'm talking about is very different. And if you've seen the Richard Donner Superman, the Tim Burton Batman, the Sam Raimi Spider-Man trilogy, or the plethora of terrible comic book movies that were released in the 2000s, you are probably already familiar with this formula. It goes like this. The protagonist gets superpowers, becomes a hero, stops petty crime, becomes infamous for his crime fighting in the public eye, he falls in love with a beautiful woman, then a powerful villain rises to challenge him. Superhero movies following these story beats tended to be a lot simpler than what we have now, because the conflict was always smaller and more contained. Instead of trying to save half of all sentient life in the universe, older superhero movies had their heroes trying to stop a carjacking all the while trying to make it in time for their date. And the reason for this simplicity is that until this decade, superhero movies were obsessed with the idea of the secret identity. The integral idea to all older superhero movies was that a normal man had to balance his regular life with his secret superhero life, and that no one could ever find out about his secret or else chaos would ensue. Most of the conflict in older comic book movies centered around whether the villain would find out about who the superhero was, and if they would use that information to hurt someone they loved or intrude on the hero's everyday life. That's why the conflicts in these movies were so much smaller. Can Peter mind his responsibilities as Spider-Man and still keep his commitments as Peter Parker? Can Bruce Banner control his emotions in his everyday life so he doesn't give himself away as the Hulk? Can Batman stop telling every fucking woman he knows that he's Bruce Wayne? A superhero's secret identity was a big deal back in the day, and not treating it seriously meant dealing with big consequences. Though mostly, it was just the hero's girlfriend or relative that was kidnapped. Like I said before, small stakes. However, in 2008, all of that changed forever because one movie came out that signaled the change toward what we have today, Iron Man. The first movie in the MCU, Iron Man came out at a time when the secret identity thing was still one of the main gimmicks of superhero movies. However, the fact that Iron Man had a post credit scene that promised an Avengers universe is not what changed that. In fact, most of Iron Man's story was pretty typical for the genre at the time. It told a simple origin story of a man who made a suit of armor, became a superhero, then a public figure, had a romance with his secretary, and had a climactic battle with the big villain. Even the secret identity gimmick was present in the movie, as Tony Stark tried to keep his identity as Iron Man a secret, even from Pepper Potts. For a large part of the movie's runtime, it really did nothing to break the mold of the genre. That was until the final scene of the film when Tony Stark says his last line of the movie at a press conference. I am Iron Man. This line changed the genre forever. For the first time in the history of the genre, we had an on-screen superhero who didn't care about keeping his identity as a superhero a secret. The line in the final scene in the movie is so significant that at the time they were filming this movie, they actually told the extras in the scene that it was a dream sequence. They didn't want any of the extras involved in the scene spoiling to the general public the huge twist at the end of the movie. When I saw this movie as an 11 year old, that line blew my mind and made Iron Man the coolest superhero ever. The result of this line was the steady decline of movies that used the secret identity gimmick. Now, there's nothing wrong with using a secret identity for conflict. However, Iron Man proved that throwing it away could lead to greater possibility. You see, Stark's honesty about who he was paved the way for the bigger stakes of the MCU. Could you imagine all of the events still taking place in Infinity War if the characters still had to worry about keeping their secret identities? It's pretty much impossible. Doing away with secret identities led to bigger stakes, not only within the MCU, but in comic book movies as a whole. After Iron Man 2, Thor and Captain America showed a commitment to doing away with the idea of the secret identity, other superhero movies followed suit. Now, not only do we have spectacles like Endgame, but also movies like Aquaman, which also isn't concerned at all with keeping secret identities. Even the newer Spider-Man movies don't seem to be as concerned with it, as by the end of Homecoming, both Peter's best friend and his aunt know he is Spider-Man, among other people. The secret identity conflict will never be truly taken away from Spider-Man because that's a big part of who he is as a character, but when comparing the execution of that aspect to the Spider-Man movies of 10 years ago, there is a big change in how seriously it's taken. 
With one line, the character of Iron Man laid the foundation for the MCU by breaking the change of the superhero genre, and ended up changing the entire comic book movie landscape as a result. And now, with many of us having seen Endgame at this point, you already know that the line becomes even more significant when considering the events and consequences of that movie. If it wasn't for Iron Man, Robert Downey Jr., and Jon Favreau, we wouldn't have the huge stakes of the MCU. And that's why this line will always be iconic. I am Iron Man. Oh, no.